Hello kids, I'd like to show you how to check if a pushdown automaton is determined. One way is to make up stupid passwords and see if they tell you before you tell them. Well, didn't work. The other possibility is to check if in every situation the pushdown automaton can only do one thing. And unless me, the pushdown automaton has to do and uh, something. So, in a situation, you have an input string, maybe something like this, and you have a stack with something on it. Maybe this one. So, to see what the automaton can do next, he has to check the next input symbol and the symbol on top of the stack. So, if there are in one state two outgoing transitions which need the same input symbol and stack symbol, then the automaton does not know what to do. And if you are in the initial state, if you see here, the automaton needs an A as input symbol and an A on the stack. And the automaton can also use this transition where they want an, imp an A on both the input string and the stack. So in this case, the automaton does not know what to do. That means this push, push down automaton is not determined. But if you have any transitions with the empty word, this epsilon is the empty word. It's as empty as the underground when Kara had a busy day. So if there's an empty word, oh, well, here's one for you. Why do you never see planes starting from an empty word? Because it has no terminus. So when you have an empty word, you don't need to read the next input symbol. So the automaton does not know what to do if there's the same stack symbol as in another transition. And as you can see here, there are these transitions also need the seller symbol on top of the stack. So if the automaton is in Q0 and maybe can read an A, then it could also read nothing and use this transition. And so the automaton does not know what to do. And these are the two things you have to check for if you want to know if a PDA is determined.